I was shocked. I was upset because I felt, you know, like, oh my God, what, what am I going to do? And an El Cajon woman came to 10 News to try to get this husky back from an animal shelter. She was caring for the dog, which belongs to a local army recruit away for boot camp when the dog got out of her yard. Now she's trying to prevent that dog from going up for adoption. 10 News reporter Michael Chen reveals what happened when we brought this information to the shelter. Inside this home in El Cajon, a chew toy and a half-eaten bowl of dog food. What is no longer here is this Siberian Husky named Landon. I was shocked. I was upset. Jennifer, who asked us not to identify her, says that was her reaction when she got home from work last Tuesday and discovered Landon gone. She had only had the dog for three days after agreeing to dog sit for a friend of her niece. That friend is in Georgia at an Army boot camp for 13 more weeks. He was going to be, serve, you know, training to serve our country. Um, I'm a dog lover. Struck a chord within me. Last week, she was struck with a different feeling, panic. This is how he got out. He went behind these potted plants, then wedged himself through an opening between a wooden plank and a chain link fence. The dog was found at a nearby strip mall and ended up at a county shelter. When Jennifer called the shelter, she learned she could not claim him. She didn't have any paperwork saying she was caring for the dog, and the owner was at boot camp and unreachable. Landon has a microchip, but the owner, who bought the dog 10 months ago, had not updated the owner information. Jennifer was told Landon would be eligible to be adopted starting Tuesday. I, I was concerned for the guy that he was going to be heartbroken that something happened to his dog, because I know how I would feel if it was my dog. After this interview, we brought all the information to shelter officials who told us they've decided to hold off on the adoption so they can take a closer look at the ownership claims. Michael Chen, 10 News. Jennifer says she is sharing her story because she wants to emphasize the importance of having documentation when someone else is taking care of your dog. If the dog is adopted, she hopes that someone will hear of that story and return the dog once the owner is back from boot camp.